Stop thinking D is just like E. Here's why it's more complicated. Equation 4. The 22nd of May looked like Gauss's law, with RO replaced by RF and D subbing in for A to OE. So, you might think D is just like E but for free charges, right? Wrong! Divergence alone can't determine a vector field. You need to know the curl, too. For electrostatic fields, the curl of E is zero, but the curl of D? Not so much. XD is actually XP, and P's curl doesn't always vanish. Take the bar electret problem. No free charge anywhere means D should be zero, implying E equals one point Os, P inside and zero outside. But that's obviously nonsense. So when you calculate electric displacement, start with symmetry. Spherical, cylindrical, or plane symmetry? Use Gauss's law methods. No symmetry? Think again and remember D isn't just about free charge. Electric displacement is tricky. Don't fall for deceptive